made a uh, car mount GoPro adapters and a nice little mechanism at the top creates a nice uh, bracket so that uh, it'll stay and I even have adjustments so that you can move it around a bit way better than all the stuff I saw on Amazon they stick to your dash supposedly stick don't stick maybe sticks stick it magnets to the window this side that side eh, I'm good you can even tuck it up in a way if when you don't want to use it now that you see how cool it is let's show you how I put it together so first things first you need to have an array of GoPro parts which we all have right somewhere uh, you have a box of these GoPro parts kicking around and they need to be used for something so I came up with this this clamp here is um, the first part that you're going to need so that it can actually attach to the backside of your mirror in any vehicle you have. This can also be used as a mountain bike mount also to go on your front railing. So if you wanted to do that also and to use this uh, with your cell phone, I wouldn't recommend it totally, but um, this clamp is fantastic to hold things. But this, this is essentially the clamp. Now with this, you take this little part here and this one and this one and this one. Okay, you're getting lost, aren't you? So let me show you some of these images here. This, this one here is the uh, Parapace mountain bike mount for 21 bucks on Amazon. This is the uh, 16 piece three-way pivot arms for 14, 15 bucks. Then this is the major part, this one right here, um, that is the, it's, it's a real universal connector and that's what makes it possible so this thing can hang down because that's what it's gonna do. It's gonna hang down under your mirror where you're going to be able to turn this way or this way, portrait or landscape with your phone, which is the amazing part of this when you're filming it because you know, we're all about doing Instagram stories and stories on everything and that's, that's the beauty when this thing is mounted under and you're going to be able to turn it. Some, the only problem is sometimes you're going to have to take the back of your um, cell phone case off. Like I have this thing on the back of my little pop that so I don't drop it. And this has to come off when I'm doing things with my camera. Now, come on, these cameras are amazing. You just need to be able to use them for um, making vlogs and videoing and giving different sorts of shots so that you can see like in this video here, um, I'm simply, you know, talking to my dog, Mika, my fur baby. I think that's a long time since I call her a dog. She's almost human to, human to me. But this is what goes on. So you get these, these parts and you put them together and you, you essentially put them together with this amazing mount. Now, I can't say enough about this mount. And th I've been through a lot and you gotta be careful because our phones are big today, okay? They are massive uh, <laughs> beasts of phones and they need to slip into this gadget and um, so that it holds and you want to make sure that the um, the phone holder and it's so nice because you can just do this quick right oh and by the way tip help, handy tip make sure to do this all the way up when you're driving because if you don't for some reason your vehicle will rattle and it will start undoing for some reason you hear that and you're like what's that in my car anyway helpful tip with this but this thing essentially goes in and away you go and you can lock it like this and then you know you can turn it straight down and whatnot also um and and away you go but this this clamp has taken me a lot i've got like six of these around my house on house on different tripods see here's one here's another but where I came from when I had a smaller iPhone SE, and by the way, this works on Android, Samsung, and um, iPhone also, but I came from clips like this. These silly ass clips. Eh, eh, eh. I can't stand it. It's, I don't know what it's for anymore, but there will be a use one day because that's a really handy little bolt. You could do something, maybe stand up something. Who knows? Anyway, it's not useful. This is my primary. And this is made by Vasitar Universal Smartphone Tripod. And it's for 12 bucks. Buy them, you'll get addicted. You'll tell your friends and family. I'll put all the links below in, in these out for these elements. So it'll make it easy for you to get to the Amazon store to buy these. But I'm sure, like honestly, I'm sure that you have like tons of these. I've got, I've got so many different clips, but this is it. So let's go ahead and put this together now. And if you find this helpful, please remember to subscribe. You know, and I'll put some videos at the end also. But here we go. So this is the adapter here. This, you take a piece from the bottom and you put it on top. Come on, who loves Jenga? Everyone loves Jenga. So you take that one, you put this in like that. And you always need these little bolts, right? Like that's so key to have a whole bunch of those. You just go through your stuff. Go through your GoPro stuff. Come on. 
I'm sorry, but I'm not really into the GoPro. I tried it. I don't like that when you're filming. It's like, it's shaking and stuff. I'm into the um, DJI Osmo Pocket, um, which is fantastic out of pocket and drones with gimbals, right? Um, so you, you, you got that in there, right there. Boom, that's done. Now you take this connector and you put this here because what's going on is I'm essentially building something so that it has elbows so you can turn it and move it like you've seen in this part of the video right here. And you know, you can see that it can be tucked up behind, it can swivel and, and that's it. This is major, this piece right here, um, this is what really is the grand poobah of the, the parts and it took me a bit to, to find that one, but I did. And you can get these at yard sales People give these things away online because people don't use the GoPro stuff. They stick it on their helmet and then they get bored of the, the footage. I've done it and that's it. There are a lot of things you can keep on DIYing. So now we got it that. So essentially you put this, you know, where your um the post for your mirror, you know, you, 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 you unscrew this and you slip this onto the mirror. Like you've seen at the beginning of the video, you can watch it again. Um, and then this hangs down, hangs down like this. And this is here. And now see, this is upside down, right? This is downwards. This faces down, okay? That's the top, this is the bottom, okay? And you just kinda screw that shocker on. It gets tight, yo, like seriously. And this is actually a tightener right here too, so you can tighten that. And voila, that's that's primarily it. And then you, when you're, you know, um, when you turn your car on, of course, you practice safe um, driving and whatnot, you simply, put this in at the beginning, you know, never play with your phone while you're driving. You turn it on, you pull over, you repress record. That's what I've come up so that's safe, right? And then you can talk and vlog and record your journey and it would hang straight down and you'd be able to turn it. And then you could um, turn it on to, like, I don't just use this app. I use a couple different apps. Um, here's, here's some apps that I use. I like Pro Movie. It gives you a lot more control than the camera. Um, in iPhone and stuff, really recommend Pro Movie. It's worth the purchase. Um, put that down in the bottom. That, that's, you know, that's when you start doing better videography uh, projects and whatnot. You start using different apps other than just the basic because then you can control the ISO. Um, it's just a lot more clear, shutter speed, lighting, control, everything. It's very fantastic. I can't say enough about that. Uh, that's, that's really it. You can get other connectors and things and you can come up, you could get an extender also and, and that would work really well. Um, and there's different kind of pieces that you can put, but primarily that's it. If you have any questions, um, please let me know in the comments below. Mika, baby, yeah. Oh, there, there's my high five. Yeah, so this is the new rig and uh, for the car. It's a GoPro setup and um, yeah, you can, it's uh, got some different tilts and stuff like that. I've seen a lot of stuff online, suction cups and sticking to windows and magnets. This is good. You want to pay attention, frame it. You know, there's enough light coming in, enough to speak, set it to the right frame rate, exposure lock, boom, you're rocking.